Wisconsin. Many find comfort and solace in its wild places. Others find inspiration. Like one of the world's most visionary architects, who was inspired by Wisconsin's natural beauty to build one of the most famous and admired houses in America. It's known as Taliesin, a Welsh word that means shining brow for its position on the edge of a hill overlooking the valley. This was the home and workshop of Frank Lloyd Wright for 48 years until his death in 1959. Wright, a Wisconsin native, built Taliesin in 1911 as a country home for him and his mistress, Martha Borthwick. He also wanted it to be a laboratory for his ideas, many of which were inspired by the landscape surrounding the house. Taliesin is filled with beautiful design touches and bold experiments, like this cantilevered walkway that appears to float on thin air. But what Wright had imagined as a peaceful haven suddenly turned into a house of horrors on August 15, 1914. Wright was out of town when his butler, Julian Carlton, who knew he was soon to be laid off, decided to take revenge. As a group of employees gathered in the dining room for lunch, Carlton locked the dining room doors, doused that wing of the house with gasoline, and set it ablaze. He then walked to an adjoining porch where Martha and her two young children were sitting and killed all three of them with an ax. As the fire grew, six of the employees escaped by climbing out the dining room windows, only to find the killer waiting for them in the yard. Four were cut down. The other two managed to escape. When Frank Lloyd Wright returned to Taliesin, he was devastated. But he vowed to rebuild the house in the memory of his murdered love. But in 1925, the second Taliesin also burned to the ground, and Wright vowed once again to rebuild it on top of the ashes. Today, his third and final Taliesin is now a museum and education center.